If you were with us in episode one, you will see that I rocked up in uh, Barnstable in Devon before the builders were due to start. Episode two, we're looking at what happened during the month of January. So how far did Mandy and Carlton get? So they've been on site just five days and they managed to dig out all of the trenches and deliver new Jura on site, that's that big pile there, and props which is the metal work in the middle there, that's what um, is the internal support for the new Jura blocks as they go up. It's the end of week two and we've got two courses of new Jura blocks up and filled with concrete. Um, it was a horrible week weather-wise last week. We had Storm Brendan through, but Chris, Simon and Matt from CC Services still managed to get on with the work. And it was ready on Friday morning when Hansons arrived with two loads of concrete and Chris Brown Pumping bought a 20 metre boom pump and they pumped concrete into the new Jura, which is now filled. The end of week three and the concrete has been poured into the slab of the house. Last week the game was a busy week, we had several tons of stone delivered to site which was compacted into the base of the house. Um, also CC Services installed a radon sump which is now covered with the concrete. Although radon is something that's normally associated with Cornwall, we also have it in North Devon. So building control specified that we install it and that yellow membrane that you can see lapping over the new Dura walls is a combined damp proof membrane and radon barrier. So there was steel that went in on top of the compacted stone and then on Friday Hansons came in and we had concrete poured into the slab and that's gone off nicely overnight. This is the end of week four and as you can see there's quite a lot of standing water in the slab and it was a wet week again last week. Um, most of the work last week the guys were doing involved drainage and digging out where the concrete was going to go. We had several loads of stone in and also shingle to go around the drainage pipes. All of these inspection chambers are now in and that square black grid there is for the dam pipes where the rainwater comes into the gutters off the roof down the dam pipes and into that. Along the back of the house we've got more black inspection chambers and this is where the sewage and the foul water from the house runs out and that goes away to the connection that leads to the sewer. This is the end of week five and last week the guys finished off the drainage and we had some more stone delivered and they've compacted that all around the house ready for the scaffolding to come in in a couple of weeks time. Groundworks crew Matt and Simon have finished here for the time being and next week a new crew, still Chris Curtis services, CC services crew will be coming in and they'll be dealing with the new Jura side of the build. So next week the ground floor walls will be going up and then the week after concrete will be poured into those and then they'll go again with the first floor lift and pour concrete into those and then there'll be a cut roof going on. Um, as you can see, we've still got a huge pile of soil. We did get rid of two loads, two lorry loads last week, so it has got a bit smaller, and the site is starting to drain out. Matt and Simon put in a soakaway last week for us too, so that was black crates into a pit in the ground with pea shingle and wrapped in fabric and that will take away some of the water around 
the house and help with drainage. Again, that was specified by building control. So that's the end of week five. It's a gorgeous day here today, but we're waiting for Storm Chiara to arrive on Sunday. So it's battened down the hatches and uh, hopefully everything on site will be safe and we'll make another video next week. Oh,